Check out ProBoxingSupplies.com, PowerPerformanceProducts.com, and you're watching MMAInterviews.tv. Spencer Lazara here at Pro Boxing Supplies, Moore Park in Laurel Canyon in Los Angeles, alongside Spencer Fisher. He's fighting June 22nd against Sam Stout, a trilogy fight of one of the most exciting uh, group of fights that you've had in the UFC here. So talk about you know facing Sam again and, and this fight coming up. Uh, I think it's uh, probably my best fights that I've had out there since I started fighting in the UFC. And uh, people are, I think I'm well known for those fights. And uh, uh, my career's coming to an end. I think it's a good one to go out on. So, so this is, you, you think, your last fight uh, competing? Um, I never say never, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty much thinking that. So I've had a good run, and uh, I think Sam brings the best out of me, and I think uh, the same with me or with, with him. So uh, I think it's a good one to go out on, win, lose, or draw. So. Yeah, no one has to worry about uh, somebody shooting on him pretty much in this fight, right? I don't think so. I mean, you never know. It's a fight. Things happen, but uh, I'm looking to knock him out, and I'm sure he's just looking to do the same. And uh, talk about your career and everything, the ups and downs. And recently, I know you had uh, some eye issues. That's why you've had a layoff. Yeah, I had a detached retina, uh, torn shoulder, you, n you name it. And this game, is, that's just how it goes. But uh, I, you know, I've got to see all of the world. You know, my family's got to see, you know, been around the world because of the UFC. And uh, there's not too many other jobs that allows me to do that. So uh, I've had a great time doing it. And uh, I think it's time for me to open the next chapter in my life. So. What is the next, next chapter in your life, do you think? Uh, well, I, I run two gyms currently. I have one in uh, Iowa, and I also have one in Kentucky. So uh, that is something I'm going to do, but uh, I have other interests, you know, like in the outdoors. Um, I want to do something like that along those lines as well. So, How is it, have you noticed the sport growth, you know, through your gyms in that area in the Midwest? Obviously, wrestling's a, a staple of the community, but talk about the growth of mixed martial arts and people wanting to train the other, other things. Right. Well, uh, in the Midwest, you know, it's, uh, it's a wrestling state, you know, Iowa. And uh, I myself am not the wrestler. That's been most of the time on my back. But uh, a lot of guys out there, it's just, it's just what they do. You know, they, these guys have a strong work ethic. You know, out in Iowa, they, you know, they either farm or wrestle, you know, or both. And uh, they come, they have that work mentality, and they bring it over to MMA, and it's a, it's a good, uh, good mix. So you're getting some work in out here. Talk about the work you're getting here in California. Yeah, I, um, I'm training at Kings currently, and uh, man, I tell you what, uh, it complements my style so well. The master is, uh, he's phenomenal at everything, and he uh, doesn't try to change me uh, as much as my stand-up, but he wants to add things and, and fix the mistakes I'm making, and uh, I'm very excited. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to say cliche, saying, oh, this guy's going to be, the, this is the best me, or this is the best me. Uh, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know how my performance will be, but I feel better, as good as any camp I've ever had before. So. Watching watching Master Rafael Cordero spar over there, it's always a treat. This guy just has tricks, like a bag of tricks, and people talk about, well, he shows us this, but that's only 25% of what he knows. Right. Uh, I have, unfortunately, and I guess fortunately, I haven't been able to spar with him. He's coming off a knee surgery, but I've heard that uh, he's put everybody down in there, and I believe it. He's, he's something else. Uh, he just came off a knee surgery, and he's moving around fantastically, and, uh, man, he's very tricky. So. And uh, talk about... You know your, your career. What what were the shining moments of your time in the UFC? Um, every fight. I mean, I, you, of course, I've had my losses as well, and uh, you learn a lot from a loss. But you know, I've had some great fights. You know, uh, I've been on the receiving end of some uh, of some uh, beatings. I've been on the giving end, and it's just been uh, it's been the only thing I've ever wanted to do with my life, and I've done it. And uh, I, I think uh, UFC is the greatest organization out there, and I'm ready to you know. Uh, maybe call it quits in this organization as well. So, uh, the lightweight division very stacked. Who do you see as, as going forward as the champ? Maybe by the tail end of uh, 2012, Nate Diaz obviously just had a very impressive performance. Uh, I think Nate Diaz is uh, he is stylistically wise. Um, the guy causes problems. He's long. He's rangy. Uh, he's slick on the ground. I, I think uh, you'll see Nate Diaz as a, a future champion lightweight division. Yeah. Anything else you want to say, Spencer? I just want to say thanks to all my sub, my fans, my family, supporters, um, everybody in Kentucky and North Carolina and Iowa. That's my you know my states. So uh, just thanks for the support. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for the time, Spencer Fisher. I'm Spencer Lazar. You're watching MMAInterviews.tv here at Pro Boxing Supplies. Godspeed and party on.